everyone, it's Nona Grace, and today's video is going to be a mishmash of stuff. I don't know what exactly what it's going to be in it because I'm starting it early and I'm going to kind of take you along with what I did today. What I'm doing are, what, I just went outside to pick hot peppers. These are the Hungarian hot. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. I'm going to chop them up. I'm making um, chicken, what we would call brodo. It's chicken and it's it's got a turkey stock in it and it's it's normally would have been cooked with pasta but because I'm cutting back on the carbs it won't have the pasta so I'll have it be like a soup I'll shred the chicken in it in the juice and um, cut up hot peppers lots of hot peppers put some Romano cheese on top and oh it'll be so good so I'll take you outside so you can see the peppers it rained today so everything's gonna be wet but I'll take you outside this year we planted a lot of hot peppers because other years we have run out of peppers. This year we're doing really good. If I was eating pasta, these would have been all gone. But because I'm not eating pasta, there's still a lot of peppers here. Then there's the sweet peppers. I planted the orange and I planted red. I don't know if there's any red. Oh, here's one that's turning red. And yellow is what I planted. Let me see what's back here. Oh, there's a big one back there. Whoa, everything is so wet. And there's a pepper. There's some more. And then there's the hot peppers. And then there's the por por these are Portugal hot, hot hot Portugal is what they're called. They're, uh, they're supposed to be really hot. I don't know. Jim says they're not. I don't know. I haven't eaten any. And this is the Hungarian. I like the Hungarian. And if I was not on keto, I'd be having fried hot pepper sandwiches. Oh, it is so good on Italian bread. Look at this. These are beautiful peppers. Okay. It's kind of wet out here. I'm going to go back in. Okay. Now I've cut up the peppers. This is a bowl of hot peppers, all cut up. It's a big bowl. So we will put this in our soup when we get our dish of soup. And then I will show you that. I cooked the soup in the crock pot. I'm gonna show you real quick before it steams up, but this is where the soup is. I'll lift that up. Okay, it's down in there. And when I dish it up, you will see what it looks like. Okay, before we eat, we always say grace. So let's say grace. Okay, let's say grace. In the name of the, the Father, Father, and of the, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bless, Bless us, O Lord, Lord, and these thy gifts which you are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, now I'm going to have Jim dish himself up. Do you want to put peppers in there first? Yeah. Might as well. Just I cut them all up so that you wouldn't have to wait for you to do it. There's a lot in there. There's like eight peppers, so it can take a lot. So we put hot peppers in our. If this was pasta, we'd still be doing this. We like our hot peppers. And then he's got to. Then you got to ladle your own on today. A lot of times in Italian home, the, the mother would be ladling the food into everyone's dish. Mother or wife. Yeah, mother or wife, but usually when the kids are home. We have usually one pot meal and the mother would dish it up, especially if it was pasta or even soups. Look at that, how delicious. It's chicken with broth, which would be brodo. And if it was with pasta, we'd say call it pasta brodo. But because it's not, you can put that in my dish. Now he's going to put some cheese on it, probably. Are you going to put cheese on it? Because mm -hmm. you always do. Might as well. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you want to put salt on it first or yeah. not? He likes extra salt on his foods.
Mine's going to be the same, except I won't put the salt on. I don't need the extra salt. Everything tastes salty to me. And this is Romano cheese that he's putting on. Now this is a keto dish. Everything is, I would consider it a keto meal because it's got the broth from the turkey. When, when I cook, well, no, yeah, it had turkey. turkey broth in it. I put that in there. That's right. And um, then I cooked the chicken in the stock, in the, in the, in the broth. And then I, with the hot peppers, hot peppers are lower in carbs than sweet peppers. There we go. And that's his dinner. Doesn't that look delish? Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. it's gonna taste even better. There you go, alrighty. This is spending a little bit of my day with you. And I have something that I wanna to say to Wes. Now Wes, this is especially for you. Yesterday's video, I said, this is especially for you. And in his comment, he said, he wondered if it was especially for him because it was all about a purse. And it brought to my mind when my mother and father would be going to church, my mom had to walk with two canes. And a lot of times my dad would be carrying her purse. So maybe that video was for you if you carry your wife's purse. I, I really don't know. But anyways, I was thinking that's what it brought to my mind. Today was um, a busy day, but it was not overly busy. I um, don't even know what I did. Oh my goodness. I didn't do anything exciting, I guess. I just Watched made dinner. And and... Huh? Watched videos and commented. Yes, I did that. I do that every day. And I let the chickens out and I picked up apples and um I had to go get a new dog run yes my husband says jake's up on the hill jake shouldn't be up on the hill because he's tied to a dog run and the dog run line snapped he's not very strong at pulling it but it's been getting caught on things and it was starting to get weak in areas well he must have tugged just right and it snapped and he went up on the hill. Luckily, it was up on the hill and not on the road because that would have been a disaster. So I went to Dollar General. We have a Dollar General in our town now. We, it's only been there maybe a year, year and a half at the most. It's not been there long. But I've only been in the store probably three or four times. And I thought, well, I will run and get a dog, another line for my dog run. So that I, And I got a thicker one this time. The snap that goes on his collar isn't much bigger, but the loop that it hangs from, hangs off of is smaller, so it doesn't fit on my sliding glass door like I used to hang it on the door. But that's about what I did. So I hope you enjoy sharing a part of my day. I'm going to show you my peppers, and or I've already done that. You've already seen it. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I, I'm kind of working backwards on this video because I've already done some of these things. And then I come back and talk again. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So you have a great evening. Bye-bye.